Hi there. Now, what I've got here is a follow-up of the previous video where I introduced you to set notation. Notation that describes various regions within a Venn diagram. And the aim of this video is just to take it a bit further, not only through two sets, but also subsets and also, as you can see, three sets. So you might like to have a go at this, just either copy out the sheet or just listen to me going slowly through how we shade in the various regions. So with the first one here, we've got B complement. And B complement, remember, represents everything that's not in the set B. So what I would need to do then is shade everything that is outside of the set B. And it can include, in this example, some of A. Okay, so we've got that as the shading, everything outside of the set B. The next one is A union B all complemented. Now, A union B is the region within A or B or both. Everything that you see within the two sets here. But then we've got to complement it, so we need to shade everything outside these two sets. So it's going to be the outer region here. Okay, so that is A union B all complemented. The next one is A intersected with B and that's complemented. Now A intersected with B is the bit that's common between the two sets A and B, the overlap here, that's that bit in there. And if we complement this region here, we're looking at everything then outside of it. So it's going to be everything that I'm shading here, everything outside that intersection. So I've got something like that. All right, next one. Don't get this one confused with this. We've got this one in brackets, but here we're looking at A intersected with everything outside of B. So what is outside of B? Well, that's this region outside here. And it wanders a bit into A, but we're looking for the region that is also common with A. It overlaps it, it intersects it. So this is this region in here. Okay. Now, in the next three, I thought I'd just work with B being a subset of A. So if we had A intersected with B in a situation like this, what is common between A and B? Well, it's just got to be this region in here. It's just got to be B. And when we talk about A union B, what's in A or B or both? Well, for a situation like this, it's got to be all of A, since B is within A. So there's A union B, when B is a subset of A. Next, we've got B complemented. What's not in B? So for a situation like this, it's everything outside of B. So again, it can include some of A, but uh, not all of A. So we'll just finish that shading off there. All right. Now we'll move on to three sets. So for this one, A intersected with B. I gave you this one purely because it is the overlap between A and B, but I often see students thinking it's just this region here, but it's not. It can include C in this kind of situation, so you've got to extend it down through. Okay, so what's in A and B? Even though it contains some of C, it's still this region. But when we come to this one, what's in A, B and C? A intersected with B, intersected with C. That's a common region with questions that you're going to get. It's the one in the middle here. It's within all three sets. Now, 
just taking a bit further here we've got a complement intersected with B intersected with C so we're looking for everything outside of A which is common or overlaps B and also overlaps C so looking at everything that's outside of A would be all the shading outside of A but then some of it's going to just overlap B so that would be this region in here and then it's also got to overlap C so for all those conditions to be met it's got to be this region out here it's got to be outside of A which it is and it's got to be common to both B and C so we've got that region there in the next one we've got everything that's common to A and B union C so we're looking for the region A intersected with B which is this region across here but then it's the union with C it's joined if you like with the set C so it's everything in A intersected with B and also in C so you've got to add on this region here of C okay and the last one we've got everything outside the complement everything outside A union C intersected with B that is common with B well if we look first of all at A union C that's everything in these two sets here okay within this boundary of A and C that would be A union C now if we complement that it's got to be everything outside of it so that would be all of this region outside here but then we've got to think about what's common with B well everything outside A union C which is just common with B has to be this region in here So I hope this has been of some use to you that you can now apply the correct notation and interpret it in Venn diagrams.